1999 Freightliner with a custom built camper body on it. It's a motorhome. It's titled as a motorhome. So as far as we know, you don't need a CDL to drive it because it is titled as a motorhome. MH on the title in the state of Ohio. This does have a C12 Caterpillar engine on it. Starts up no problem. Fella told us that it'll go 100 miles per hour down the road if you'll let it. Here's the interior here. Got a couple of extra passenger seats that somebody added here, which is nice. <clears throat> Here's the outside of this camper. And this is a Prowler Lynx camper body here. It's got a through and through storage. back here and you got yourself some outdoor water if you need it. Uh, generators in this back one, isn't it? Okay. It's got it on and check out these steps. These are definitely custom. Very cool. Diamond plate steps. Got a railing. Here's the generator here. Got a preheated. I think the battery was low. It'll run. He said the generator runs. Yeah, battery. Battery's yeah. low on it, but the generator does run. Look how clean your awning. Oh, that's the car for the awning there. Look how clean just even the storage is. This is the other side of that through and through. It's open on the other side. Oh. They got to look at it. All right, I'll show you the inside here. Tires are in great shape. Up this custom stairwell here. Inside, and this is freshly all clean inside. It's recently cleaned. Floor feels just a little bubbly here. I think it could just be the, oops, sorry. Could just be the linoleum maybe here. This is in very well cared for. If it was plugged in, the lights would probably come on, all come on, or the generator running. But I don't have it plugged in, and it didn't start the generator. He said he doesn't have the generator plugged in, doesn't have the camper plugged in. Excuse me, hasn't started the generator. Did this yesterday. It's clean. Got double bunks back here. Lots of extra space. 